Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and look at this little tiny thing. This is the Dust X58. Dust X58 is a tiny little uh, brushed motor, or brushless, brushless motor quadcopter. Powered by a 1S battery. Very unusual there, too. It actually can only be powered by a 1S battery. That's its limitation right now. Uh, but this little quadcopter incorporates the Tiny Fish uh, flight control board. What is a Tiny Fish flight control board? It is a open... Uh, hardware flight control board designed by this fellow in Germany. Uh, if you go to fishpepper.de, you'll find out more information on it. But this uh, little flight control board incorporates a FlySky transmitter um, or FlySky receiver. So it's a uh, receiver integrated flight control board that's one of the tiniest out there, very small. Now, it also includes a 4.1 e ESCs, I believe they're in, uh, incorporated in the power distribution board down below here. Uh, they're 4 amp, and it also has these 20,000 uh, kV motors, which means this th these things are really going <laughs> to spin like the devil. They're going to really put out a high pitch. I haven't flown it yet, but I'm predicting that right now. And finally, it includes a 400 milliamp hour uh, uh, battery on it. Now, the Tiny Fish flight control board includes uh, Tiny Fish... Uh, three point, wait, wait a minute, beta flight, tiny fish 3.1.5 uh, for the uh, 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 control software on board it. So, and to access that, this flight control board, you will need to plug in this battery. You know, it's just not going to work by just merely plugging in to the USB port here. Um, you're going to plug, need to plug in the battery to power up the entire system here to access it in beta flight. I keep that in mind also. And also to get access to this uh, USB port right here, if you notice, this is in the way. <laughs> you're going to need to remove this prop to access it. Now, that being said, you know, this is an advanced flight control board on this tiny little thing. Uh, and it was open hardware, and it was put to the market very quickly after uh, the guy designed it. I believe he designed it back in December. Um, I'm not sure how much development went into this particular quadcopter in terms of flying it and adjusting the uh, PIDs on it. So we're going to find out shortly whether they did any work with the PIDs. Uh, what else do I need to talk about? Oh, yeah, it's got a 48-channel FPV, all-in-one FPV camera uh, located on top here. I believe it's 25 milliwatt here, um, but we'll find out shortly. But it, you can control the channels and uh, the bands by these two buttons on top. So that's it. Very simple. A brushless motor, tiny, very one of the smallest I've seen uh, with very high RPM <laughs> motors on it. Let's give it a flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, it is bound. Everything's recording. Going to acro mode and arming the quadcopter. Uh, I forgot to mention this again is only available in Free Sky. Unfortunately, uh, the the Tiny Fish open hardware design is only available in Free Sky. So, and away we go. And I'm going to fly gentle first to see what we got. So far, feels good. It actually feels very good. Go a little bit faster then. Going through the trees. Going around the trees. It actually feels good. Let's go up a little higher then. And try something. Here we go. Oh yeah. There you go. Yes. General, somebody flew this. <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay. I'm sorry I'm surprised, folks. But I've seen so many that it hadn't been flown before. Okay. With that in mind, let's go around the bushes or around the trees. Yeah, nice flyer, surprisingly. Let's bring it by us real slow, and low and slow, just so you can see it. And that's it, folks, the tiny fish. Now, this does not have a buzzer, unfortunately, no beeper to let us know when the battery's getting weak. We gotta guess that for ourselves. Well, I'm not going through the needle just yet. <laughs> okay, coming around, maybe I'll slowly go through the needle. There we go. Flies nice. Very smooth pids on it, folks. Very well done. Thank you, whoever whoever did this or adjusted the pids. Release something with adjusted pids. <laughs> nice flyer. Okay. Now I'm giving it some oomph there. It's not it's carrying that heavy battery, so. 
Oops, oops, disarming. My well, it doesn't have a lot of uh, oomph. You know, um, there's not a lot of punch with that, with this quadcopter. That battery is somewhat heavy for it. I'll, I'll, I'll mention that. But it, once in the air, it is a nice smooth flyer. Arming the quadcopter again. Um, still an acro. Let's go back to the air and fly it. So for the remainder of the flight, no more of that um, flips. We're just going to do maneuverable flying. Or <laughs> flying around us, in other words. Showing you what it looks like. Nice though, you know this would be a nice room-to-room -room flyer, indoor flyer. Actually, it'd be a very nice indoor flyer. <laughs> Almost <laughs> hit that. <laughs> but it once it gets speed up, it's actually a high-speed flyer too. But I don't think it's going to turn very rapidly at higher speeds. It's going to need some room to turn because of the weight of that battery. You know the. The designer did every, all they could to keep the weight of the quadcopter down for, this, for these tiny motors, though that battery is somewhat heavy. Maybe better propellers might help, too. I don't know if there are better propellers for it, but it's maneuverable, I'll give you that. Let's see if I can come between the camera and me. Yeah, easily done. Can I take off yet? Any more power left? It's getting sluggish, folks. That's it. And again, we don't have... Uh, here, I'll take that on. Huh. Let me disarm this. We don't have a beeper. No warning uh, when the battery's going to wear out. That is it. I hope I didn't damage the battery. Am I going in the right direction, hon? Oh, I see it. <laughs> Again, no beeper. That would be its big advantage. I recommend if in future version of this to include a beeper on this so you can easily find it. Let me unplug it, but oh no, very maneuverable, nice little quadcopter. Let me get it out in the sun so you can see it again better. I hope I didn't damage the battery from flying that long, but I'll find out later on. But uh, kind of recommend it, the Dust X. So quadcopter 101, setting out.